What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to episode 27 of my FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Squad Builder Series. Today I've got you a pace and flair team and it was requested by a subscriber called Unboxings and More One and he asked, can you do a 150k 4-1-2-1-2 team that's so overpowered and pacey and then he asked a Brazil, a Brazil or Brazilian um, team be imaginative and as much pace and skill please so I thought I'd take this challenge and like yes I haven't made the team for 150k I'm going to say that now but there is players you could do that if you did want to spend the 150k but let's get into the team so we're going to be playing obviously the 4-1-2-1-2 formation meaning everyone in this team is going to be slightly more um, uh, heavier priced than if you were to buy them in a different formation but let's get into the team so in goal we got all goal players. In goal, we have Diego Alves. And this guy's just an absolute tank of a Brazilian keeper. He cost me 5,200 coins. He's got 91 diving, 90 reflexes, 72 handling, and 75 positioning. And he's just a fantastic keeper, guys. You could put any other Brazil, um, Brazilian keeper in this team and they would get full chemistry. But I really, really like Diego Alves. He seems to work really well with me. Guys, if you got your preference, definitely put a Brazil, um, Brazilian keeper in this team and you'll still get a decent amount of chemistry. Moving on to the right back, we've got another goal player and he is called Mariano. Plays for Bordeaux in the Liga 1. <coughs> he cost me 950 coins and that 950 coins got to be most spent 950 coins. 89 pace, 77 dribbling, 76 passing, 76 defending. And the four-star skill is for a right-back. It's just really, really nice. He's a fantastic right-back in this game. Um, 90, 89 pace for a right-back is really nice. And also four-star skill moves. He asks for skill and pace. I give him skill and pace. Moving on to our two centre-backs. The first centre-back is going to be Felipe Santana. He plays for uh, Borussia Dortmund. And he cost me 5,000 coins and he's got 81 pace, 77 defending, 84 heading, and 6 foot 4. He's got pace, uh, he's got a fairly decent defending stat, and he's just an absolute giant in the air. And this guy's a phenomenal centre back, guys. Definitely recommend trying him. He's just got really, really pacey, and he's got a really nice heading stat on him. And he links perfectly with our second centre back, big old Dede, 80 rated. He plays for Vasco da Gama in the Liga do Brazil. He's got 81 pace, 81 defending, 82 heading. And five, he cost me 5,000 coins and again 6 foot 4. So both of our centre backs have 81 pace, I believe. Um, both are 6 foot 4, so both have fantastic heading stats. And both, um, Daddy's got a better defending stat as well. So these, these defend centre backs are just absolutely amazing. And moving on to the left back, we've got our first silver player of the team, Julia Cesar. He plays for Atletico Melillo in the Liga do Brazil and he cost me 16,750 coins. He's got 89 pace, 71 dribbling, 71 passing, 67 shot, um, defending, 62 heading and 65 shot. And he's just a fantastic left back as well, guys. I definitely recommend picking him up. He's a very, very similar player to Mariano. Shame about he only has three-star skill moves. Um, if you did want this to have all four-star skill move players, um, all decent skill moves and that lot, you could put Ram on there as well. You'd still get full amount of chemistry. But this guy is a really nice left back and 89 pace. And look at the stats. For a silver player, they are really, really nice. Moving on to the CDM, we've got another silver player, and that is Richarlison. He again plays for Atletico Mineiro in the Liga do Brazil. He cost me 4,000 coins. Uh, he's got 75 pace, 74 dribbling, 69 shots, 73 defending, and 68 passing, and 65 heading. Four star skill moves as well for a CDM, which is pretty nice. And again, he's just a really, really nice all rounded um, silver player. As you can see there, all of his stats are above 60. And they, he's just a really, really good player. Moving on to the right mid, we've got a guy who normally plays right wing, and that is Hulk. Now plays for Zenit St. Petersburg in the Russian League. And he cost me 12,000 coins. He's got 90 pace, 82 dribbling, 85 shot, 78 passing, and 74 heading. Four star skill moves as well. And this guy is just an absolute tank, guys. Hence the name. He's pace, he's got really nice skills on him. Lovely, lovely shot on him. Uh, left footed on the right as well. I mean, you can use both, um, you can cut in, smack that with his left, and that's going to go in the top left hand corner of the goal. And he's got a fairly decent um, passing stat as well, so a really, really nice right mid. Moving on to the left mid, we got you got a choice of two players here. 
The player I'm going to be using is Robinho, just because I've used him so many times in the team, and he's just a fantastic player. Let me just quickly go over his stats. He's normally in a left forward, so it costs quite a bit to get him into a left mid. It costs me 13,000 coins. But he's got 88 pace, 91 dribbling, 75 shots, 77 passing, 4-star weak foot, and 5-star skimmers. Look at those stats. They're just incredible for a left mid. And the alternative you could have is obviously Neymar. Um, he, he fits quite well in this team as well. But... Um, I was looking at the in-game stats of these players, and yes, Neymar's got better stats on the card straight away. But you look in the stats, and Robinho seems to have... Um, the main, obviously, standout stat for Neymar is obviously he's, he's got better finishing. But in a left mid position, you don't really need better finishing, because you just want the pace, skills, and the quite nice, decent long shots and stuff like that. But I was looking, and Robinho actually had a better dribbling stat. Um, I think it was dribbling stat, I can't remember, ball control, something like that, than Neymar. So I was like... No, that's pretty, um, I wouldn't expect that because Neymar's like the skill beast or whatever you want to call him. But um, I put Robinho in just because he's a lot cheaper than Neymar. For Neymar for 100,000 coins is just ridiculously priced. So I, I just picked um, Robinho up. He, he saved me about 77 coins, 77k coins, which is pretty nice. And he's just still a fantastic left mid. So guys, if you do want the coins and you do prefer using Neymar, definitely go and put him in the team. But I just didn't feel like I needed to. So that's our. Let's move on to the centre attacking mid now, and we got um, we got Lucas from PSG. Um, he used to play in the Liga do Brasil, and he cost me four thousand four hundred coins. And this guy again, he's got skills and pace. Ninety-two pace, four-star skills, eighty-eight dribbling, seventy-seven shot, and seventy-eight um, passing. It's just a really, really nice centre attacking mid. He's got pace. He's very skillful. Got a decent shot on him. He's got decent passing. What else can you ask from a centre attacking mid? And moving on to the final players of our team, our two strikers. The first striker, we're going to have the um, Liga do Brazil player, Alexandre Pato. He used to play for Milan, but recently got transferred to Corinthians. He cost me 6,100 coins. He's got 89 pace, 83 dribbling, 78 shot, and 77 heading. Four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. And this guy is a really, really nice striker. He's got to be one of my favourite strikers on this game. He's got pace, he's got a lovely shot on him, and four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, which is really nice. And links up perfectly with this other striker. These two strikers in a combo just seem to annihilate defence, guys. And we have Wellington from... Um, the Russian League, and this guy is phenomenal, 4,000 coins, he's got 92 pace, 76 dribbling, 79 shot and 78 heading, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, and he's just so pacey, no one can catch up with him, he is full of sweat, but this is what this team is guys, so basically, this team cost me just around 75k, and it's got to be one of the best teams I've played with so far, um, the 4 one 2 one 2 formation seems to work well with any team, uh, it's got uh, let me just run through the pace. I, 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 I can quickly add up the average pace of this team if you want. But he's got eight. So we got. Um, well, I'm not going to count the goalkeeper because the pace doesn't really matter. But we've got 89 pace on our right back. Eight, 281 paces for our centre back, which is pretty nice. Our left back again has 89 pace. Um, our probably our CDM's got to be the slowest player on the team with 75 pace, which is still pretty pacey for a CDM. Our right mid's got 90 pace. Our left mid's got 88 pace. Uh, our centre attacking mid has 92 pace. Our two strikers have 89. And our second striker has 92. So divide that by 11. And our average pace is... Oh, I didn't divide that by 11, did I? Uh, let me just quickly add this up because I've done this completely wrong. Um, oh, God. So our average pace is just over around 80 pace I think I added that up right I'm not sure I added that up right no that is completely wrong it's going to be 86 I put in 11 thinking I put the keeper in so this average team pace is 86 pace which is pretty amazing 86 pace and that is full of sweat guys you're going to annihilate any team you come up against pretty much 86 pace on a team is um, amazing obviously it may be if you did want more sweat maybe change Richarlison for a more pacey sense um, CDM getting that up to 80 pace and you've got pace on pace guys that's gonna be um, horrible for other players and for you the other guy asked for skills as well we've got four star skill moves um, are the rest of the defense on obviously you could change left back into a four star skiller but we got one two three four five six I believe, six four-star skillers, 
six four star skillers and one five star skiller so that's seven skillful players in this team which is pretty nice as well so guys this has been the team i've said it cost me around 75k obviously you could change some players for the inform cards i believe there's an inform lucas i'm not sure i could have made that completely up um but you could also put neymar in as well and also, if you want the four-star left-back as well, you could also put Marcio Adevedos as left-back for a five-star skill. But guys, that's basically been the team. Um, I hope you like this team. Uh, I hope unboxings and more, I think it was. Unboxings and more one enjoys this team and annihilates some players, people with it. It's got skill and pace. What else can you ask for a team nowadays? That's all you need. But guys, this is a really, really nice team. Uh, it's got 99 chem. It's full of pace, it's full of skill, I definitely recommend trying it, and for 76k, it's actually a fairly cheap team, guys. So, guys, remember, if you've got any suggestions, remember to put them in the comments, uh, hit that like button and subscribe for more. Also, if you've got any suggestions for teams, put that in the comments as well, I will um, hopefully make some time to do those teams. But guys, this has been Chronic Rush HD, till next time, adios!